New York, New York, September 11 New York Nick forward Carmelo Anthony and OKC Thunder point guard Russell Westbrook attend Black Ops basketball session at Lifetime Athletic at Sky on September 11, 2017 in New York City. Photo by Sharif C. and a jetty images the Houston Rockets. The Cleveland Cavaliers. The Oklahoma City Thunder. That's who's currently in the running for Carmelo Anthony according to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski and Ian Begley. The report states Carmelo edited the two teams over the past 10 days. It's not a coincidence that this change of heart for Milo came when Russell Westbrook was in New York City for Fashion Week. The two were pictured together multiple times at pickup games and Fashion Week events, Westbrook probably gave the Thunder sales pitch. I've written about the Carmelo Anthony connection multiple times this summer. Earlier in the offseason there was the pros and cons of trading for Milo. Then an update once Bill Simmons reported Oklahoma City's interest. Every time I've said the same thing Milo gives the Thunder a chance at taking the Warriors to seven games. The move doesn't give OKC the edge, but it gives them both the offensive and defensive weapons to match up with the Warriors. Here's where it gets difficult. Eanes Cantor would 100% be involved in the trade. Any trade for Milo requires at least $21.1 million in returning salary Cantor's near $18 million eats up a lot of that number. After everything Cantor's done for Oklahoma City, especially sticking up for those cats, losing him as the Thunder gear up for another title run would hurt. It's highly likely a trade happens in the next week or two. Milo requested a trade to be made before the start of the season, it's why he just added the Cavs and the Thunder to his list. After trading for Chris Paul the Rockets don't have the assets to entice New York. Cleveland can offer the best package, but whether or not they went to include the Brooklyn pick is unknown. I trust Priest I, I really do. I don't think Cleveland is giving up the Brooklyn pick, nor should they, for an aging Milo. If they don't then the Thunder can offer the best package. Oklahoma City has a pseudo-2018 first-round pick in the Bulls second-rounder, plus other young talented players in Alex O'Brien's and Jeremy Grant. Hearing those names hurts me too, but it's Milo. As a third scoring option. Please get it done Sam. Please.